Welcome back to another Dr. Damon Designs video, where hopefully I can teach you a thing or two about video editing and graphic design, and if not, help you find that one little thing that you've been looking for. Before we get started today, I wanted to thank you guys for almost 800 subscribers on this channel after five videos. You guys are insane. Also, do me a favor, if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscriber button. And if you enjoy these videos, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you want to know when my newest videos go live, don't forget to hit that bell icon. If you have any questions at all about these videos, I do live stream on Twitch Monday and Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and Saturdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. In today's video, I'm going to teach you guys how to get high quality clips to use in your TikTok and YouTube channels using obs instead of downloading that grainy twitch file. so the first thing you're going to want to do is launch your obs and go into settings once you're in the settings go to the output tab most of you will be using output mode simple because that's just the default for obs if you are using advanced then you have a leg up on everyone else so change your output mode from simple to advanced once you do that you'll see all these different tabs and we're going to be focusing on replay buffer and recording so go into replay buffer and click enable replay buffer when you enable it you'll see this maximum replay time this will be the maximum amount of time you can capture using replay buffer so if a warzone game lasts 30 minutes you can technically capture up to 30 minutes of gameplay using replay buffer and to do so you'll change the maximum replay time from 10 seconds to 30 minutes or in this case, which is 1800 seconds. Once you have typed in the maximum replay time that you want, don't forget to hit apply. Once you're done in the replay buffer section, go to the recording tab. The only thing you're gonna wanna change here is the recording format from MKV to MP4 because video editing softwares like DaVinci Resolve and Adobe Premiere like to use MP4 files. And if you want to, you can also change the recording path. This is where all your clips and videos will be saved. And once you're done, don't forget to apply to apply those settings. Now the last step is going to hotkeys and scrolling down to replay buffer and save replay. Here you can input any keybind you want to or hotkey to easily just press it and it instantly saves that replay. Personally, I use the number one key because it's a keybind on my mouse that I can easily hit while I'm streaming to capture whatever it is I need to. Once you've selected your perfect keybind, don't forget to hit the apply button to apply those settings. Now, all you have to do is go live and don't forget when you go live, you do have to start replay buffer. If you forget to start replay buffer and you hit your hot bind key, it is not going to capture that section of content that you want to use in your videos. Now, something I might add is for the maximum replay time, if the maximum replay time is 30 minutes, but you've only streamed for 20 minutes, it's just going to capture that past 20 minutes. It's just the maximum time you want to have for those clips. And if you want to, you can even set it for your whole stream time. So once you're done streaming, you can press your hotkey and it'll just capture the amount of time that you stream for. But you do have to set it to five, six hours if you want to capture that whole stream. Well, that's all I have for you today. Hopefully you found that super helpful. If you have any questions at all, don't forget to leave them in the comments. Or if you want to ask me live, I do live stream on Twitch Monday and Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time and Saturdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Catch you guys next time.